All right, good afternoon, guys. Okay, so welcome to the afternoon stretch. Okay, I am Kenneth. Okay, we're going to lead you through a workout for today. Okay, so we again, we have three different segments. Okay, so I will take you through segment number one. Okay, Yao Xiang is going to come in. He's going to take you to segment number two. Okay, and then I will bring you guys through the last segment. Okay, so for the first segment, what we're going to be doing, okay, is a burn workout. Okay, so this is going to be 40 seconds of work. Okay, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, just five different exercises. Okay, so just go as fast as you can. Okay, we want you to sweat. We okay, want you to uh, burn through this entire exercise okay, as we go. Okay, so just push yourself a little bit harder as we go. Okay, it's only 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Again, only five different exercises. So okay, uh, go as fast as you can. Okay, make sure maintain that form as well. Do not just go through the set without maintaining that form. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna lead you through the five different uh, exercises. Okay, so exercise number one. Okay, we are going for mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, we're going down in our push-up position. Okay, so make sure, okay, shoulders right above the hands, okay, do not sink your bum down too much, okay, keep it at a, a 45 degree angle, okay, we're going to have your knees all the way in as we go for those mountain climbers, because you want to make it a little bit more difficult, okay, we can rotate, okay, elbows, knees to elbows, okay, as we go for those mountain climbers, okay, so 40 seconds as fast as you can on those mountain climbers, okay, so uh, once you're done with that, okay, we're going on to high knees, okay, so high knees, okay, on the spot, what you're going to do, okay, is just to have your hands, okay, at a 90 degree angle, okay, and then you're just going to go up, okay, as fast as you can on those high knees, so make sure knees up high, okay, do not just jog on the spot unless you have any knee injuries, ankle injuries, okay, then just maybe jog on the spot, make sure keep yourself moving through the set, okay, so uh, exercise number three, we're proceeding on to flutter kicks and leg raises, okay, so flutter kicks and leg raises are going to lie down onto the ground, okay, so either you can go leg raises, legs, uh, legs all the way up, legs together, all the way down, heels do not touch the ground, okay, make sure shoulders off as well, okay, you're going to go up, down nice and easy, engage that core, or you can keep it, okay, uh, slightly above the ground and just flutter kick. So point the toes, okay, go left to right, okay, engage the core, shoulders off the ground, okay, hands down, okay, as you go. Or you can have, lift your hands off as well, okay, that's fine. All right, okay, so uh, exercise number four, okay, working a little bit more on the core, okay, we're going down into a side plank, okay, so, okay, as you go through the set, okay, you can basically change sides, okay, so I'm going to drop, okay, your hips down, okay, push all the way up. Okay, so you're going to work the obliques on this one. So basically your core, the obliques on the side, you're going to drop down all the way up. Okay, so make sure, okay, uh, your shoulders are right above your elbows. You're going to drop down, push all the way up. Okay, so last one, okay, we're just going for jumping jack. So up on your feet. Okay, simple enough. Okay, just jump. Okay, make sure, okay, hands all the way up. Okay, on your toes at all times as you go for those jumping jacks. Okay, so those are the five exercises that we'll be doing today. Okay, so we're gonna start, okay, soon, okay. So make sure as we go, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, okay. So get ready, okay, we are starting in five, four, okay, in three, two. So first one, mountain climbers, let's go. Okay, so shoulders above your hands, okay. We're gonna go knees in, okay, as fast as you can. Okay, so make sure as you go left to right, okay, keep that core stable, okay, or you can rotate the hips a little bit as well, have your knees all the way in, into your chest, all right, so keep going, okay, you got about 20 more seconds of work, okay, feel that burn as you go, so make sure you go as fast as you can, okay, shoulders maintain that stability right above your hands, okay, you got five more seconds, okay, in three, two, and one, all right, good job. All right, okay, so rest. Okay, we are going for high knees after this. Okay, so make sure you go for those high knees. Okay, knees up high as you go for those high knees. Okay, 10 more seconds of rest. Okay, then we are going to start on exercise number two. Okay, so get ready in three, in two, and one. Let's go, so high knees, 40 seconds. Okay, just keep going as high as you can. Okay, so make sure knees up high. As we go, okay, do not drop those knees low, okay, for those of you who have any injuries, okay, just jog 
on the spot, right? So, but we want to go for high knees, or you can jog on the spot if you have any injuries, all right? So make sure to keep those knees up high. Keep going. Okay, stay on your toes, last 10 seconds. Okay, last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, well done. So 20 seconds of rest. Okay, and then we are working on the core. Okay, so flutter kicks or leg raises. Okay, so down on your back. Okay, hands out wide. Okay, we are going either all the way up or going for your flutter kicks. Okay, so get ready. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. Okay, so all the way up. And bring the legs down. Okay, heels do not touch the ground. Okay, try to keep your shoulders off as well. Keep those legs straight all the way up and down, or you can go for flutter kicks left to right, all right? So make sure as you go for those kicks, okay, try to have your shoulders off the ground, hands by the side, okay, flutter kicks as you go. Or a regression can just be leg raises, all right? So legs together, all the way up, okay, nice and slow down. You should feel your core burning, okay, as you go down and up. Okay, give me one last rep in three, two, and one. All right, well done. Okay, so working a bit more on the core as well now. Okay, we are going for our side planks. Okay, so either start on the left or the right, doesn't matter. Okay, as long as we work our obliques going down on the side. Okay, so feet together, or if you have uh, issues going down, you can have one foot forward, one foot back. You can just push all the way down and up. Okay, so let's go. Okay, drop those hips, push all the way up. There you go, good all the way up. So you should feel yourself crunching as you go all the way up, all the way in. Okay, feel your obliques working. Okay, nice and slow. Okay, down and up. Nice. Okay, keep pushing all the way down. Okay, about 10 more seconds. Up, hold it there at the top for a bit. Drop back down. Nice. Push, come down. Last five seconds. Okay, in three, in two, and one, well done. Okay, good job. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so exercise number four done. Okay, we're going for our last exercise of this round. Then we're going one more time. Okay, so jumping jacks, simple and easy. Okay, just all the way up, hands straight, touch, and come down with your feet coming back in. All right, so in three, in two, and one, let's go. So 40 seconds, we're going for those jumping jacks. Okay, out and in. Keep okay, going, nice, okay. So out, all the way in. Make sure feet out wide. Okay, hands straight up. Okay. So just get your heart rate up. Okay, nice and easy. Okay, feet. Okay, make sure jump out wide as you go for those jumping jacks. So it legs out and in. Okay, for those jumping jacks, all right? So out and in. Okay, 10 more seconds. Keep going all the way. Keep pushing. Out wide, nice. Keep going all the way in three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so that's uh, round number one done. Okay, we are going to do another round of this. Okay, and then we're done for the burn segment. All right, so 10 more seconds of rest. Okay, we're going one more round. Okay, first exercise again on the climbers. Okay, so hands down, shoulders forward. Okay, you're going knees into your chest. So let's go. 40 seconds of mountain climbers. Okay, if you can go fast. Go as fast as you can. Okay, make sure do not move the hips around too much. Okay, you want to keep that core stable. Bring knees all the way into your chest. Let's you keep going. Knees in. Push. Okay, so try not to stop. This is going to get your heart rate up. About 20 more seconds. All the way. Nice. Okay, you got about last 10. Keep pushing. Feel the burn in your hands. Okay, core engaging. Knees all the way in, as far in as you can for those mountain climbers. Be good in three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so next one again, we are going for our high knees. Okay, so on the spot, just bring those knees up high. Okay, for 40 seconds. Keep the heart rate up. Okay, do not drop the heart rate as we go through this set. Okay, so try to maintain the pace that you're going at. Okay, if you can't, just rest a little bit, grab a sip, and go again. All right, so let's go, 40 seconds, high knees. So let's go. Go. Okay, 40 seconds of work, doing good. Okay, nice, keep going. 
feel yourself, okay? Going fast, okay, bring those knees up, okay? As high as you can. Okay, you got last 10 seconds. 10 seconds of work, keep going all the way. And as long as you bring those knees up high. Okay, good. Get okay, three, and two, and one, there you go. All right, so high knees done. Okay, working bit on the core now. Okay, so flutter kicks or leg raises again. So down on to the ground. Okay, if you have a mat with you, okay, that's fine. Just lie down on the mat. Okay, we're working that core. Okay, shoulders slightly off, and then we're going for our leg raises. So in three, in two, and one. Okay, legs together all the way up. Bring it down nice and slow. Okay, feel the core engaging. Okay, up and down. Okay, so try to keep those legs engaged as you come down. Okay, feel your quads as well, your core, your low abs are working. Okay, 20 more seconds. All the way down. Okay, or again, you can go for those flutter kicks. So again, shoulders off, legs straight. Okay, go for those flutter kicks. Good. This will engage a lot more of your core. Okay, if you have your shoulders off the ground. So last five seconds. In four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay, so for this second set, let's switch on to the other side for the side planks. If you did it on your right, okay, the first set going to your left now if you're doing the other way. Okay, so we're going to work the other side of the obliques. Okay, so get ready. Side plank. Okay, in three, two, and one. I'm going to drop those hips and push all the way up. Okay, good. Drop and push. Okay, so those of you having trouble, again, you can put one foot forward. Okay, just drop. That foot gives you a lot more stability, okay, as you drop your hips down and up. Okay, if you can, just go both feet together, drop those hips, push all the way up. Nice. Drop those hips and push, okay. If you want a bit more stability as well, you can have one hand down on the ground, okay, that's still a challenge. Okay, push all the way up. So last 10 seconds, drop those hips, up, nice and easy. Good. So in three, two, and one, there you go. Okay, so 20 seconds of rest. Okay, we're gonna end off okay, with some jumping jacks. So easy, okay, legs out wide, hands all the way up as you go for those jumping jacks, all right? So get ready, I got five more seconds. Okay, in three, in two, and one. Let's go for those jumping jacks, last one. So last one, okay, if you can, go as fast as you can, okay, on those jumping jacks. So hands straight. Arms all the way up, okay, as you go for those jumping jacks, okay, make sure hands out wide, okay, and go, nice, keep going all the way, and push, last 20 seconds, keep going, Ooh, keep going all the way, and hands out wide, okay, keep pushing, and last 10, okay, let's go, final 10 seconds, let's push it, sorry guys, having trouble with my mic here, all right, keep going in three, in two, and one. All right, guys, that's it. Okay, we are done with segment number one. Okay, so rest a little bit. We are done. Yao-san is gonna come in, take you through segment number two. Okay, and then we'll end off with our legs for the last segment. All right, going for a little break. Yao-san will come back in and take you guys through segment two. All right, thank you very much.
And good afternoon. So my name is Yao Xiang. I'm going to get you through the segment two. So thank you, Kenneth, for the first segment. So the next segment is going to be pretty short in terms of the work set, right? So it's going to be 25 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I want you to imagine that you're going for a uh, sub-maximum kind of running, right? So replace your runs, you know, your boring, some of us find that running is boring, right? So just replace it and then try to keep, use that to keep your heart rate up while building strength. So that's the beauty of doing some kind of circuit or hit training. So there are seven exercises. I'm going to just quickly run through the, uh, them with you, right? So the first one we'll be going, it's a very simple hold, right? You're just going to get down on the floor, knees 90 degrees, if you can, fingers locked behind your back. Elbows touching, I call it the snowball hold. You've got to just hold it. You want to be touching elbows and knees. If you can't, minimize the gap as much as you can by rolling your shoulders off and really bringing your knees towards your chest. Right? Then we're going to go down. The hold is pretty simple, uh, uh, not so dynamic. The next one we'll be doing is a bicycle, bicycle crunch, which you might get your hurry up a little bit faster. So you want to be doing alternate touches. Same thing, full range of motion, legs straight in and out doing that nice twist. And then after which, you'll be standing up, you're doing punches, you're going to be doing quick punches, you'll get your heart rate up. Why? Because as you're punching, your midsection or your core rib cage will be closed and then you're trying to breathe and that really restricts your breathing. So the punches, what you want to look out for is your elbow. Throw your elbow instead of just throwing your wrist, right? So you want to have full length. Just, just keep punching, nice knee locked in with a very flat back engaging, really imagine you're punching, pulling in your arms, right? After a while, the shoulders, your legs might be burning. The next one, we're going to go down to the floor. I mean, sorry, the floor. Uh, getting low, slightly lower with a lunge twist. So you're going to step forward into a nice lunge, wide enough so that your front leg, right, has the nice 90 degrees and you add a twist and you stand up, drop it down low, twist, stand up. Okay, the next one will be doing arms with a little bit of core. You realize every action here has a core involved. So the next one is the push up into a child's pose. So you do one quick push up downwards, pushing yourself away from the floor and pushing yourself back and up and down again, right? Then the next one, you're gonna stay down the floor, plank spider, you can be on your palms, shoulders above your palms, if not down on the elbows. Same thing, core nice and straight, elbows touching your knee without moving too much from the hips. And of course, the last one, you've got to finish her, high knees. So what I suggest, maybe you can swing your arms to really help the movement of your legs, right? So the faster your arm moves, the quicker your feet will have to follow. And then of course, heart rate will go up, okay? So we're gonna quickly take a quick sip. In 10 seconds, we're gonna start. So remember, it's gonna be very short, 25 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And then we're going to be doing only three sets. Right, so the first one, go down the floor, get into a nice crunch, warm up more core, elbows, knees, tucking, nice ball hold. Again, if you can't reach, right, make sure the gap between your knees and elbows are as small as possible. So some of us might struggle in terms of breathing because then when we breathe, we tend to open up our chest, which is opposite of what we're trying to do with this holding action. And we just take a quick break, take a quick, few quick breaths, recover, like, we're gonna keep the heart rate up. We're gonna go into a, a bicycle crunch, one leg in, one leg out, nice twist, right? Keeping your shoulders off the floor, you realize that throughout the whole movement, my core is engaged at every second, right? So the faster you do, of course, you're cycling, you imagine you're cycling, your legs are really twisting, lifting, pulling in and towards your chest, getting the heart rate up, in five seconds, you're going to rest. A quick one. In three, two, one, and rest. Next one, you can stand up, right? So nice and easy. You don't have to bend, squat down too low. Just a nice bend on the knees, pushing your hips back so that your back is flat. From there, just continue punching. Try to maximize the length of your punch. So you don't be throwing your elbows like that. You want to be pulling. Imagine you're throwing out, pulling alternate hands. And the faster you do, you realize that your, your hips will start to shift. And if you can, minimize those hip movement. In three, two, one, and rest. Now we're going to work on our legs. So remember, take a step forward far enough so that both your knees are 90 degrees, right? Let's go, so add a twist. You're gonna to twist to the side where your front leg is. Nice and easy, if you can. Remember when you drop, body upright and twist. 
Step down. So a lunge is basically a two action. Think of it as two action, forward and down. Right? So go forward and drop down, pushing yourself back up. Last one and rest. So the faster you do, of course, without breaking your form, your heart rate will go up. Next one we'll be doing is push up into a child's pose. Ready. So it's a pushing action. You're pushing yourself directly up, pushing yourself back, and then coming down again. Nice and strong, sitting back as far as you can. Really push into the floor so that your hips move towards your heels, right? The further you move back, the more of your shoulders will be working. Five seconds. Two, one, and rest. You're gonna stay there. You can opt for the straight arm or the elbow, right? So I'm gonna opt for the elbow. You're gonna keep it low, hips low, as you move your elbows towards, so your knee towards your elbows, try not to lift your hips up. Right, you wanna imagine that your knees are going around the body towards the elbow. Right, not under your body. Try not to go under. Keep it around 10 more seconds before we do our last finisher. And we take a quick break. Three, two, one. And let's stand up. So we're gonna do our seventh exercise and end our first set. Right, we'll be doing the high knees. Remember, swing your elbows. Keep your nice elbows about 90 degrees. Swing them back. Imagine there's somebody behind you. You wanna nudge them. The faster you swing, the faster your legs will follow, right? The mistake that we try to make sometimes is that we want to move our legs fast, but our arms are not in rhythm. So we want to form a very nice rhythm. That's why you see the runners. When they're sprinting, their arms are moving really quick. Two, one, and that's the end of the first one. We're doing two more times. Quickly get your water, drink up. And the reason why we're not resting for too long is because we don't want the heart rate to drop too much. But yet, why do we need to rest? Is because we really want to recover enough so that we can tackle sec uh, second set and third set to the best of our ability. So we're trying to play around with the rest time to get that fine line between resting too much and resting too little when you're too tired to work, right? So we're gonna go down the floor. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. So remember, okay, really push yourself as much as you can Right, keep your heart rate up. We're gonna be doing the snowball tuck. Ready in three, two, one. Pull your knees in by rolling your spine off the floor, tailbone off the floor. Same thing, shoulders rounding. Okay, so it's your shoulders that is rounding. Don't use your neck, you might strain it. You're gonna hold there. As you realize that as your heart rate is going up, your breathing gets a bit deeper, and naturally you want to you have your ribcage wants to flare open so that the lungs can expand. We're going to rest for a while. Next one, right, bicycle crunches. The faster you do, imagine you're cycling, right? Ready, and let's go. So let's not compromise by doing short movements, long yet fast if possible, All right? Big strides, kick it out, and pulling your knees in alternate, All right? Good, 10 more seconds. Tap, make sure you have the discipline to keep tapping your knees and elbows together. Got five more seconds hanging there. Last sprint. Three, two, one, and rest. Right, the next one, again, punches. Right, so you want to imagine you want to be throwing a real nice long punch and as many punch as you can, ready. And let's go. The faster you go, right, you find it. Your hips, right, are swaying. You need to engage your knees to hold your ground, right? So this is actually a very good whole body workout, not just for the arms. And you realize the faster you punch, in order to put out more power, your knee legs need to be grounded on the floor. Three, two, one, and rest. Next one, you're going to your legs, lunges. So remember, you want to step forward. And once your front leg is planted, you want to tap your back knee down towards the floor. So forward, plant, back knee down with a nice twist. And once you get that nice movement, your, once your movements are more fluid, that's where you can start to increase your pace, right? Always get good form before we rush into the action because we want to prevent injuries. And of, of course, we want to make sure that our movements are efficient, right? And let's rest. Next one, go push-ups. Remember, you're pushing yourself directly up off the floor and back 
at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Drop down, pushing up, backwards. And then you're going to reverse the process. Right, the faster you do, the more challenging it will be. But then again, if you're new to this movement, do not feel the pressure to be doing at my speed. Slow it down, making sure the length of your movement is as long as you can go. Right? So there's no, move, no point just moving backwards and forward in limited range of motion. Next one we'll be going is a plank spider. So again, those people doing a high plank, shoulders directly above your palms, keeping your back and legs straight. So, so if you look on the side, my torso and my legs are in one straight line. It's not lifted, right? Straight, engage, really engaging your hips, your arms, your shoulders, even the leg that is not moving on the ground. In three, two, one. And we're down to the final one before we rest. Again, remember, swing your arms as fast as you can. Just try it, right? Swing your arms fast, your legs will follow. Ready? And let's go. So run, lifting your legs up high. Imagine you're switching. Right, lift and step down, 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 right? Just keep sweeping elbows forward, backward. We've got the last 10 seconds. Let's do a final burst together for the last five. And let's go. Swing your arms fast. Your legs will follow. Two, one. And we're down to our last and final set. Really get a hurry up. Drink your water. Right, really rest. Try to recuperate as much as you can so that you can tackle the last seven exercises to your best ability. Right, and after which, later Kenneth will be back. We'll be taking you through some exercises that will keep your hurry up, but slightly in a longer um, range, which means that imagine that if you're doing runs, mine's more like a quick sprint, I mean, an easy sprint, and his will be a longer jog. Right, let's get on the floor again. Five more seconds, ready. Let's see, discipline, ready, two, one, and round your shoulders, right, round your shoulders. As my head is lifted, it's because of the movement from my shoulders. <sighs> okay, let's try to keep the contact between your elbows and your knees as much as you can. If you really can't, right, try to minimize the gap between your elbows and knees. In three, two, one, and rest. Nice. So next one we'll be doing bicycle crunches, legs in, legs out, full range of motion. In three, two, one, and let's go. Tap, right? You don't want to be lying down, right? You want to be keeping your shoulders off the ground so that your core is engaged or your front abs are engaged at all times. Pulling your knees in and out. As you pull your knee, you're using your hip flexors to pull and push, right? So one leg is pushing, one leg is pulling, and the faster you can move, the faster your heart rate will go up. And let's rest. We're gonna move into punches. Remember, when we do punches, we want to have full range of motion, right? Because once you have full range of motion, you get your abs involved, you get your hip, your knee stabilizer. Let's stay ground on the low and just keep moving. For those people who want, some of you might be more familiar with this stance where your legs, one leg's front, one leg's behind. You can even switch it about just to get a balance sometimes. So you find that there's one leg that you are more familiar with, right? I would like to do two legs in five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Right, next one, we go down to lunges. Whew. Is it hot in here? <laughs> Ready? And let's go. All right, I forgot the twist. Forward, twist. Same thing is the two movement action, forward and down. So forward, plant your leg, drop down the back knee, and stand up. The 10 more seconds. Make sure the front knee doesn't go too far forward. There's nothing wrong in going forward, but let's try to minimize that rest. We go down the floor, last three exercises, right? Go push up and a child's pose. In three, two, one. Keeping your core nice and straight. Push and sit. You can tuck your knee, hip in, your chin in a little bit to get a full range of motion. Really sitting into your heel. Imagine that you want to push yourself so far backwards that your heels and your glutes almost connect. Five seconds. 
three, two, one. All right. Now we're down to our last two. Let's finish up really hard. Right, push yourself. We're going to be doing the plank spider. Three, two, one, and let's go. Right, try not to go for speed that your body starts to rock. Right, you don't want to be doing that. Neither do you want like hips drop. Nice and close. Engage. The only part that is moving is your hip area that allows your knees to be moving towards your elbows. In three, two, one. And the last one, right? I hope everyone's breaking out with a good sweat like me. Five seconds more. You're doing high knees. I want you to imagine you're doing the final sprint. Three, two, one. And let's go. So leave your knees up high from the side. Lift, right? Try to be disciplined. Keep switching legs. One in, one out. And then we're going to go for our final five second sprint at the end and finish strong. In three, two, one, and let's go. Keep your back straight, elbows moving, lifting, two, one, and we are done for segment two. So thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break, and Kenneth will be back to finish off the third segment. guys okay welcome back okay to okay uh the afternoon stretch okay so i'm kenneth again i'll lead you guys through your last segment okay so for this segment what we're going to do we're going to be concentrating okay on our lower body our legs all right so uh, we've got again five different exercises okay same time as the first segment we're doing 40 seconds of work okay 20 seconds of rest okay just two rounds okay so five exercises two rounds 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest okay so i will bring you through okay the five different different exercises okay and then we'll end it off okay for today okay so uh, exercise number 1 okay we're going to be working okay are mainly predominantly our quads okay so you're going to have your feet okay at for, uh, at shoulder width, what you're going to do, you're going to go down in a squat, okay, your squat pulse, so make sure as you go down in that squat, okay, you're going to pulse up and down, okay, so from the side view, okay, make sure legs at 90, you're going to pulse up and down, okay, in that position for 40 seconds, you're going to burn the quads on that one as you pulse up and down, okay, so those of you who ha have limited range of motion, it's okay, if you can't go too low, just go as low as you can and pulse in that position, okay, so uh, exercise number two, once we're done with that, okay, we are going into low lunges. Okay, so low lunges, okay, you're gonna go down in that lunge position. Okay, you're just gonna come forward, okay, and step back. So basically, what you're gonna be doing, okay, is staying low. Okay, again, predominantly working on those quads. Okay, you're gonna stay low from the side view. Up, okay, you're just gonna step back. Okay, make sure legs, knees do not touch the ground. You just come back up, okay, back down again. Okay, so uh, once you're done with that, we're going for a Cossack squat. So Cossack squat basically is a bit of a stretch as well. You're going to go side to side on this one. So as you go down, okay, keep that back straight, your chest out. Okay, as you come up, okay, okay, into the middle, you're going to drop down onto the other side. Okay, toes pointing up as well. Okay, it's going to give you a nice hamstring stretch as well as you go down and up. So you're going to push all the way up. Okay, change sides. Okay, as you come up. Okay, so make sure as you go down, if you have limited range of motion, again, okay, not too flexible. Okay, you can go as low as you can all the way up. Okay, drop down low, as low as you can all the way up. Okay, so uh, exercise number four. Okay, we're going for ski jumps. Okay, so just go left to right. Okay, with both feet 
or a progression of, for that, you're going side to side with one uh, leg, so that's called a skater. Okay, so you're going left to right okay, with the hind leg off the ground. So make sure you stay down low okay, and jump side to side. So two options here, either ski jumps with your feet together okay, or side to side with one foot. This is called a skater. Okay? So last exercise, we're going down on our back, okay, working okay, our posterior chain, your, your, uh, predominantly your glutes, okay, means your bum. Okay, you're going to go flat down okay, on the ground, hands by the side. Okay, you're going to push all the way up. Okay, what you can do as well, okay, once your hips are up, okay, you can go up on your toes. Okay, this is going to work your calves okay, as you drop back down, okay, uh, bum all the way down. You're going to push all the way up again okay, on your toes, okay, heels back down. Okay, and then bum, drop all the way down. Okay, so that is your tiptoe glute bridge. Okay, so five exercises. Again, we are going two rounds. Okay, so 40 seconds to work, 20 seconds to rest. Okay, grab a little drink if you want to. Okay, we're going to start in a little bit. Okay, and we are done for today. Okay, so we're going to start in about 10 seconds. So get ready. Okay, we are going in the squat pulse position. So make sure down in your squats and we're going to pulse down low. All right, so in three, two, let's go down into that squat and we are going to be pulsing. Okay, so make sure, okay, make sure do not go all the way down into a low squat. Okay, half squat here. Make sure legs at 90. And you're going to pulse for 40 seconds. Okay, you're going to feel your quads burning. Okay, so keep that chest out, okay, the back straight, do not lean forward too much, okay, and then you're going to pulse, all right, so keep going in that position, okay, and pulse, okay, it's going to burn, it's a little movement, but you realize it's going to start burning, okay, mainly your quads, okay, as you go down and up, okay, if you don't feel the burn, okay, it means you're not doing it right, all right, in three, two, and one, okay, so 20, seconds of rest okay next one we are going in our low lunges okay you can shake it off okay shake off those quads okay and then we proceed on to our low lunge the low lunges okay we are going down into a lunge position okay make sure as you go for the lunge stay low step forward okay back to the lunge all right so get ready let's go okay down in that lunge position step forward okay try to stay as low as you can step forward okay make sure maintain the low lunge Okay, again, keep that back straight. Okay, your chest out. Okay, keep going. All right, so step forward. As you step forward, okay, feet okay, close together. Okay, you're gonna step, feet together, step, and feet together. Okay, so as low as you can. Okay, this is gonna keep working the quads because you're maintaining in that isometric position. Okay, as you step forward as well. Okay, so last five seconds. Those quads are gonna burn in three, two, and one. All right, so shake it off again. Okay, we've got 20 seconds of rest. Okay, then we're going for a Cossack squat. Okay, Cossacks basically you're going side to side. Again, unilateral movement on this one. Okay, so as you go down low, okay, feet slightly wider. Okay, then your shoulder width. Okay, you're gonna drop all the way down to the side and come up. Okay, so let's go. 40 seconds. Okay, as low as you can, push all the way up. Okay, as low as you can, and push all the way up. All right, so toes pointing up, okay, feet, okay, the one that's stabilizing, okay, is gonna point out to the side, okay, at a 45 degree angle, and push all the way up, nice. Okay, so toes up, okay, you should feel a nice stretch, okay, in your groin, okay, as you push all the way up, okay, down low, okay, really good exercise for this one, working, okay, on your individual leg as you push up. Okay, last one, and two, and one, all right, good. Okay, so rest up 20 seconds. We're going on to our ski jump. So side to side, basically either both feet together, side to side, or you're going for your skaters. Okay, left to right. Okay, make sure hind leg don't touch the ground. Okay, so in two and one. Okay, we'll go for our skaters on this one. Okay, showing you guys the progression. Okay, left to right. Okay, make sure you go low. Okay, don't just step side to side this way. Make sure bend knees. Stay low and jump. Okay, alternate option. Okay, just hop left to right as you come down. Okay, make sure you bend the knees. Okay, and jump. Okay, try to have your feet together as you jump. Swing those arms just like a skater. Okay, you're going, it's like a skier, sorry. As you go left to right. Okay, keep going all the way, all the way in five, four, three, two, 
And one, all right, good. Okay, so we're going to work our glutes now. So basically your bum, okay, we are going down into, onto the ground. Okay, you're gonna push your hips as high as you can, go on your toes at the top. Okay, so hands down by the side. Okay, you're gonna push, okay, all the way up. Okay, and then toes, uh, go on your toes. Okay, so let's go guys. Let's push all the way up on your toes. Drop those heels all the way down. Okay, so up, hips, push as high as you can. Go on those toes, down on the heels. Okay, push, okay, all the way down. Up on the toes. Okay, you should feel your glutes working, your posterior chain all the way down to the ground. Okay, up, okay, on those toes. Okay, even though that little movement there, it's gonna add another dimension. Okay, working those calves. So you should feel your calves burning as well as you go all the way up. Okay, down, let's go. Last one, and three, two, and one. There you go. All right, well done. Okay, so 20 seconds of rest. Okay, then we are going one more round. Okay, so remember the first exercise, we're gonna be doing squat pulses. Okay, so down low, again, legs, remember, have it at 90, half squat and pulse. Okay, again, work those quads, man. Okay, let's go in three, two, and one, let's go. So, okay, half squat, okay, we're gonna pulse in that position, okay? So, as low as you can go, but make sure you maintain tension, okay, in your quads, your legs. Okay, don't drop all the way down low. That's not gonna do anything, so let's go half squat and Pulse, there you go, keep going. Okay, so I'm gonna face the front. Okay, so make sure I see my chest is always out, my back is always straight. Okay, feet, okay, at shoulder width and just go for those squats. Okay, you got last 10 seconds there, bear with me a little bit more. Keep going. Okay, in five, four, three, two, and one, there you go. Okay, so rest up. Okay, so feeling your quads now. Okay, I'm feeling it for sure. Okay, so 20 seconds of rest, okay. Shake it off, okay. So we're going to leg around a little bit, okay. You can always massage it a little bit. Okay, then we go for our low lunges, okay. So get ready. Okay, in three, in two, and let's go with those low lunges. Okay, make sure, stay down low. Step into the middle, okay, into that lunge. Okay, step into the middle, into that lunge. Okay, so notice I'm always staying low as I step back and step forward, okay. So maintain that height as you step. All right, it's gonna burn the quads a lot more, working it, okay, quite hard. Forward, okay, so as you step forward, again, my feet always together, okay? Maintain that form at all times, okay? Do not, okay, move around too much. Try to keep as compact as you can, okay, good. In three, and two, and one, Woo Okay, burning those legs, okay? So next, we're going for Cossack squats, so side to side. Okay, so again, legs, okay, wider than shoulder width. Okay, shake it off a little bit. We're starting in 10 seconds. Get ready. Okay, in five, four, okay, in three, two, and one. We're going down low. Okay, point the toes up. Okay, all the way up. Nice. Okay, down and push all the way up. Okay, so make sure, keep that back straight. Okay, that chest out. Okay, as low as you can. All the way up and push, well done. Okay, last 20 seconds. Okay, keep going guys, doing good. All the way up, okay, push. Okay, you feel your quads working, last 10 seconds. Give me a couple more good reps. Okay, all the way down and up. Okay, last one. Okay, and we are done with those Cossack squats. There you go, okay, so next one, skier jumps, left to right. Either feet together or you can go with one leg. Okay, either ski jumps or skaters. Okay, so get ready. Okay, so with ski jumps, remember, both feet or skaters. Okay, just go left to right, down, low. All right, yeah, so get ready. Let's go. So ski jumps, let's go. So jump down low, jump, land low. Okay, make sure, bend those knees. Okay, that's gonna help you, okay, protect those knees as you land, okay, do not absorb the impact as you land. Either that, or you can go for skaters. Okay, left to right, okay, toes don't touch the ground. The hind leg, make sure, lift it off the ground. Okay, it's gonna have a lot more weight, okay, on your quads as you shift from left to right. Okay, so keep going. There you go, nice. Control that movement, find that balance. Three, 
two, and one. There you go. Okay, so rest up. Okay, going for our last exercise. Here we are going for our glute bridge with a tiptoe at the end. Okay, so down on the ground. Okay, hands out by the side. Okay, you're going to push your hips all the way up. So in three, two, let's go. So push all the way up. Okay, go on your toes. Land heels down on the ground. Back down. Okay, push. Okay, toes up. Heels down. Hips all the way down. So push all the way up. Okay, make sure you maintain. Okay, or drop all the way down. Okay, control the movement on the way up. Okay, hold it there for two seconds. Drop back down and all the way down. Okay, go. Keep going. All the way up on your toes. Land your heels and push. Okay, give me a couple more reps. Push all the way up. Okay, feel your hamstrings working as well. Okay, push all the way up and on your toes, down with those heels. All right, guys. Okay, so well done. Good job. Okay, on the lower body. Okay, we are done for today. Okay, three different segments took you through. Okay, upper body, lower body, okay, as well as a bit of a burn as well. So a good total body workout for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Okay, we are the afternoon stretch. Okay, I would like to thank you for joining us along with Yao Xiang today as well. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.